Hi, today I will give you an introduction on how to get started with mBlock5. mBlock5 is a lear coding learning platform made by MakeBlock uh, in order to help uh, students, educators, and other, uh, others to get started with block-based programming and script-based script programming, including Python or Arduino C. Uh, there are several features built in and block 5 would be perfectly fitting the educational scenarios, including real-time translation between blocks and scripts. Also, there are many hardwares being integrated or compatible with and block that you can do interaction between robots and computers. There are several extensions being built and developed by third parties and make block. Uh, including AI, IoT, and data sciences that you can find also on mBlock5 in order to make your classroom more uh, rich. mBlock5 is also available cross-platform, including PC, Mac, Linux, Chromebook, and online. There are two versions of softwares that we uh, available. There are two versions of softwares available on mBlock websites. One is called mBlock, the other one is called mLink. What are the differences between these two? Basically, mBlock is the integrated development environment, which means aka IDE, with all the functions including interacting with hardware, including stage programming, Python programming. mBlock also has mLink software integrated there, so once you install mBlock, you don't have to install mLink separately. On the other hand, mLink is a package for uh, drivers in order to help computers to communicate with robots and electronics. It's basically an extension for users if you want to use mBlock in browsers or Chromebooks. If there's no hardware involved in the coding learning process, you don't have to install mLink. Here's how you can download the mBlock. Basically, simply go to mBlock.cc, this website. It's the front page of mBlock software. And click Download button. In this page, you can choose your platform, PC, Mac, Linux, Chromebook, or online. And then download the software. Again, if you're installing mBlock, you don't have to install mLink at the same time. During the installation, you may find some questions. Then you can go to the website mblock.cc, click resources, click documentations. Here, basically, you can find the FAQs we put together for you to solve your problems during the installation. When you want to open mblock, basically on PC, Mac, or Linux, directly open the application. If you're using online or Chromebook version, you should first run mlink software and then type the following uh, URL into your browser, which is ide.makeblock.cc. Once you have done that, you can open your mblock software as indicated on the screen. And you will see there are several different areas that you can work on. The largest area in the middle is the workspace. That's where you put all your programs together. And to the left of the workspace, you will see an area with the block commands. This is based on Scratch 3, but being extended. So all the commands being presented as blocks. And then to the left of this block commands, you will find a control panel where you can use or manage your devices, your sprites, backgrounds, and uh, control them, customize them, or connect them. On top of the device sprite background panel, on top of the device sprite background panel, you'll find a stage. This stage is for you to program and interact with the sprites and the backgrounds virtually on your computer. In the menu bar, there are several sections. On the most left part, there's a uh, button that you can select languages. There are more than 20 languages being supported and localized on mBlock. 
On the right side of the menu bar, you will find the documentations and you will also find a button to profile. I would suggest you to register a account with MakeBlock. There you can share and save your uh, projects on the cloud and you can open it on other devices with the same profile. Also, if you want to experience AI, IoT and Wi-Fi functionalities, a profile is required. On the top right corner of the workspace, you can find a toggle to switch between Block and the Script. And Block has a built-in editor for Scratch and also is a built-in editor for script languages, including Python or Arduino C. Here for Sprite programming, Python is supported. When you switch, you can go uh, programming in Python completely. Underneath this switch, you will find a small button uh, which is the translation to script switch. And there, when you click it, you will find exactly the translation of your blocks on your workspace. There, students and educators can actually learn and show uh, how the block-based programming being presented in the real life in scripts in Python. All right, now let's get started to make your first program with mBlock which is the famous Hello World program. Here's a short clip that you can find out how this is works. And all you need to do is basically open your M block, start to drag and drop the commands from the left side. So we started with events, and we put this uh, command called when green flag is clicked. Then we go to looks, and we drag and drop say hello, but we change the text into hello world, exactly like what we want. Now, we can run the program, but before that, let's toggle the stage to a large space, and then click run. And we can stop it and run again. You will see the panda is saying hello world. This is basically how you make your first program with mBlock. All right, I hope you enjoyed this lesson to get started to mBlock. We will come up with more lessons that teach you how to do more complex programming with mBlock.